What's up, everybody? So what I want to go over with you guys really quickly is first, I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys um, a post from the Carlsbad Cares Group. Um, and then, so this is, I'm going to have to like read this like really, really fast because I can't make a more than 10 minute video right now. So I'm on a new channel now, so... Um, anyways, so I'm going to read this really, really quickly here, and then we'll get through to it and we'll like watch, um, this video right here. Okay. So Carlsbad city council ignores requests from residents to fly other than gay pride flag. The test article goes into all the detail necessary to understand what happened at last Tuesday's council meeting when at least 18 citizens decided to, uh, test the commemorative flag policy, or more precisely, the lack of one. Nevertheless, we decided to bring to your attention the consequences of the council's inaction and what went down that affects you in the long run. So basically, I'm not even going to read the whole thing right now until I can make more than a 10-minute video, but I'll just show it to you guys right here. Right here. I mean, you'll see in a TikTok video that will be on here later. But basically, um, I want to play for you guys really quickly here, um, this, uh, video right here. So this video I'm going to share with you guys to basically sum it all up. Cause look, first of all, when they're saying that we were attacking Melanie Burkholder, um, on Tuesday night, quite honestly, you know, we were uh, basically telling her that, you know, this is not okay. You cannot do this, you know. And then with Teresa Acosta, you know, accusing her of saying, of, you know, only wanting the pride flag to be flown outside of City Hall for every every June. Um, let's uh, real quick here watch the video of the video that I all four of her colleagues against her. Uh, that are, you know, all four of Melanie's colleagues are against her. If you choose to, I'm going to start. Um, we've had a lot of um, energy around what flags we're going to fly. Um, I'm sad that we're taking away so much time from other issues in the city. We have residents in our city who are homeless and living in the back seats of their cars. We have a fentanyl and opi opioid um, crisis going on in, in uh, the entire state. We have increased crime. We have traffic safety concerns. We talked about um, our youth on on uh, uh, e-bikes and the, the tragedies that have happened in not just our city, but our neighboring cities. We have budget issues um, and it goes on and on. But it seems like we got a little derailed by too much time spent on flags. I think that we've had an opportunity for everybody to be heard. Um, and I think we're ready to move on and take care of the rest of the business of the city. Um, and I appreciate how much energy there is behind um, both sides of, of the issue, but I, I do want to make sure we get on with the rest of the business of our community because there's a lot of other um, uh, very important business as well. So Ms. Luna, uh, do you have any comments? I, I apologize, I wholly agree with you.
I think that discussion's over. We've already had it. We made the decision. We'll fly the pride flag every June. We're proud of that. And I vote no. I would vote no on um, opening up this discussion again for uh, this variety of flags. Thanks. Ms. Bob Patel. Just a quick mention, I'd like to echo the sentiments that uh, Council Member Luna mentioned that when this discussion was brought forward, there were folks that said that on this council that said we'd like to have a policy in place and that was voted down. So with that, I, I just, I'm done with my comments. Thanks. Anything else from any other council members? Okay. That uh, concludes this agenda item. No, sir. Subscribe. So did you uh, all listen to that? So Teresa Acosta said, look, we made the decision. We're going to be flying, you know, the pride flag every June. Um, we're proud of that. She said we. She didn't say I. She said we. Um, and she also said we made the decision. Um, so last month. Um, we made the decision as a city, as a city council, the decision was made. Pride flags and be flying every June. We're not even going to talk about it anymore. Um, so that is where it all stands here because we're, we're, we're not talking about flags anymore. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share. Let's get to 200,000 subscribers by the end of the day tomorrow. And I am a uh, change of plans um, for tomorrow. I still might bring my, um, oh, where is it? Where did I put my microphone? Not somewhere. Um, anyways. Oh, here it is. It's in my drawer. Um, so I might still bring my microphone tomorrow to, you know, sing. But uh, I might just use it partially to say subscribe to my new main channel at Austin Hanch 21. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and uh, I'm going to make a, I'm going to be going to Rite Aid in a little bit and going to get like big poster board and uh, going to the UPS store, getting a screenshot of my main channel, print it out and tape it on there and glue it on there. And bring with me tomorrow to uh show you know we're marching in the parade uh so that way you know spread on my new main channel um because there's going to be hundreds of thousands of people showing up tomorrow as always um so yeah so all right see y'all tomorrow at san diego pride and uh stay tuned for the next few videos all right peace